How's it going? Centerpoint Securities here bringing you another tip video using the DOS trading platform. Today we're going to be taking a little closer look at the toolbar up here. Mine may look a little different from you just because I've done a couple things to it, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to change that right now. So these icons up here are going to be your windows that you have open. They're easily accessible for you to um, select to quickly open a new window. So for example, if I select the montage icon there, you can see another montage pop up. If I select the chart package, you can see another chart pop up. Um, so I like to have these uh, text options available down here just because it's easier for me to see to see and not guess what the icons are just because they're small it can be hard to see sometimes so if I go ahead and right click and go to customize here's where you're going to want to customize your toolbar so um, the first thing you'll notice is that I'm able to add and remove different uh, icons that are included in the toolbar I'm also able to put them in order so if I wanted trading accounts to go before montage and switch these I'll just go ahead and select move up you can see them change there. It's pretty self-explanatory. Down here is where I selected that show text labels. So if I go ahead and select no text labels, you can see it's just the icons in the toolbar. If I select show text labels, it goes back to what I just showed you before. Um, so I'll go ahead and close out of this for now. Another thing to point out, you can do the same thing with the tools down here. I'll go ahead and select customize and you're able to do the same thing for that option. Um, if I go ahead and right click and go to new, here's where you can select a new button. You can make your own button. So to make uh, quick exchanges or quick trades or um, anything you want to do is you're able to create your own buttons for. So I'll go ahead and select an icon here. Um, go ahead and choose this X icon. Let's make a position to, let's say, liquidate all positions. Um, so this name is going to be uh, close all. Um, the tool tip will be liquidate all, and the command is here where you're going to want to type in or script a command for that button. It's kind of like a hotkey, um, so an easier way to do this is just to copy the script right from the hotkey buttons window. So I'm going to go ahead and close this for now and go ahead and select on the hotkey configure button right here, and you can see we do have a position or a hotkey to close all positions. So I'm just going to go here and copy this uh, script here, panic. I'll go ahead and select control C to copy that script. I'll close out of there, go back to the button we created, you see up here, I'll right click and go to configure now. I'll change the icon back to that X we wanted. I'll click OK. We wanted to name it close all. Um, the tool tip's going to be liquidate all. And the command, we'll go ahead and select control V now to get that command in there and I'll go OK. And now you can see the new uh, button we have up here on our toolbar to liquidate all positions. Um, so it's totally customizable up to you. You're able to um, edit this toolbar to allow you to trade more efficiently and customize it to your liking. So I hope this was a useful video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.